Texan Global School. Rule of Three. In this class, we will analyze processes to formulate and solve rules of three. The first important concept to remember is that of ratio. A ratio is the quotient between two quantities. And it is represented in any of the ways shown on the board as A over B or A is a B. Where A is the antecedent, B is the consequent, and R is the ratio. On the other hand, a proportion is the equality of two ratios. The representations with the equality or the dots are shown on the board. And it read, A is to B as C is to D. These concepts are essential since the rule of three is based on them. The rule of three is a tool used to solve problems between proportions given three values. In this case, if D is the unknown, then we can find its value given the other three values. Multiply B by C and divide the result by A. It is very important to emphasize that the values in the left column have the same units, and the values in the right column have their same units. Let's see an example. If we buy 5 bananas for $4, how much will 10 bananas cost? Consider the rule of 3. Since 5 bananas cost $4, 10 bananas, how much will they cost, placing X or any other letter as our unknown? We can see that the column on the left is bananas, and the column on the right is money. Once the rule of three has been formulated, we can solve it. Let S write the unknown X equal to the product of the 10 bananas with the $4, divided by the 5 bananas. We can see that the bananas cancel out, getting the desired units, the dollars. When performing the multiplication of 10 times 4 equals 40. Divided by 5 results 8. Therefore, if we buy 5 bananas for $4, 10 bananas will cost $8. As we can see, ratios and proportions immersed in rules of 3. In this other example. If we buy 2 colored balls for $10, how many colored balls can we buy with $15? So, consider the rule of 3. As stated, 2 colored balls cost $10, so with $15, how many colored balls can we buy? The number of colored balls is now the unknown. We can see that the left column is colored balls, and the right column is money. Once the rule of three has been formulated, we can solve it. Hence, place the unknown x equal to the product of $15 with the two colored balls, divided by the $10. As a result, the dollars cancel, getting the desired units, the colored balls. When performing the multiplication of 15 times 2 equals 30. Divided by 10 results 3. Therefore, if we buy 2 colored balls for $10, with $15, we can buy 3 colored balls. Texan Global School. Global Online Learning. Knowledge for the World. www.texanglobalschool.com